Hi there, let's take a look at your submission for the Chapter 5 mid-level. So I've got the results pulled up on the screen here and we're going to start with um, the subtotal sales sheet where it asks us to calculate the selling price percentage of the asking price formatted as a percentage with one decimal place. Okay, so we're going to do that in column G. I'm going to flip over here to your spreadsheet and in column G um, oh, it looks like you have that. Great. Yeah, excellent. You've got that calculated through. So what didn't it like about that step? Oh, you know what? Now that I look at your spreadsheet, I think the trouble is that because the subtotals weren't applied correctly, it's, it's not finding the results where it expects them to be. Okay, so what we'll do is, um, I can see on your sheet that the subtotals aren't calculated in the way that the system is expecting them. We want to have one subtotal for all of the cities in Alpine, not the individual cities. So what you need to do is go to the data tab, click the subtotal command, and we're just going to say remove all because the existing subtotals can't be corrected to give the results that we're, that we're looking for. So we're just going to remove all existing subtotals. It'll take just a minute for Excel to get that work done, and then we'll reapply the subtotals. All right, there we are. So there's our um, data as, as we start out with before we apply the subtotals. So I just want to make sure that that's true for the other steps as well. Enter a formula to calculate the number of days. And um, so we have that existing there. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then the next one is um, sort. Ah, here we go. Step four. Sort the city in alphabetical order and then by selling agent in alphabetical order. Finally, by listing date in chronological order. So we have them by city. Excellent. Then we have them by agent. No, they're hmm. by city, then by selling agent. So when it says by selling agent, then these should be in alphabetical order. Oh, and I see you've got them in... Um, descending order. Okay, so we'll fix that and then by list date. So to see the existing sort order that appears here, I'm going to go under the data tab and I'm going to click the sort command. Ah, excellent. And here you have Z to A. Let's flip that to A to Z and then oldest to newest, which is correct. That's what the instructions ask for is chronological order, oldest to newest. Okay, great. I'm going to flip back to Excel, click OK. It'll reorder those, and that way then when it's looking for specific answers and specific calculations and specific cells, it will find them because this is the order in which it's looking for them. Okay, our next step then is to use the subtotal features to calculate the average selling price, percentage of asking price, and days on the market by city. So back here in Excel, we're going to click the subtotal command again. When it says by city, that's our first thing, so up here at each change in city, we are going to we are going to calculate just got to flip back to my um instructions again we're going to calculate the average selling price okay so i'm going to go back here to excel i'm going to change it from sum to average and it was selling price percentage of of asking price the average percent of asking price and the average days on the market just going to double check that quickly um selling price, percentage of asking price, and days on the market. Good. Ensure that summary data is below and click OK. Then we'll group them. All right, so I think we're ready. Taking a look at this, summary data is below. Great. I'll click OK and I'll let Excel calculate that. Then the other part of that step says to collapse them down um, so that the data looks like that. And we could sort of look to see. I'm just going to make sure that that matches what the system expects it to be. And we've got excellent, we've got excellent results here. Okay, let's move on back um, in my IT lab. Um, what else do we have to do here? Collapse the outline, click the outline symbol to display the grand average. Yep, here, grand average, good, okay. Format the average days on market as numbers with zero decimal places. Set the print area for C1 through G88. So here, excellent, zero, you've already got that done. And then our print area, I'm just going to go ahead and apply, apply that again, C1 to J88. So I'm going to select C1 all the way through J88 under page layout. I'm going to choose print area, set print area. You might already have that done. I'm just ensuring that that step is complete. All right, number six, 
uh, nope, we did that one. Number seven, go to cell zero, uh, go to cell C101, read the questions and type the answers. And do you have that part done? Okay. N and this happens when the, when the subtotals don't cr c calculate the right results. It's impossible to answer these questions. Now you can look above and see the answer to every single question. What's the average selling price in Alpine? So if I go to Alpine and I see the average selling price, I now know what to type in. So I'm just going to scooch this over a little bit. The answer is... 504,911. And you have to type that in. You can't copy and paste it. Go ahead and do the others as well. Okay, I'm going to move that back over, back to the instructions. Um, so type those in, apply the uh, formatting as needed, and let's move on. So in our next video, we'll talk about creating the pivot table on a new worksheet and ensuring that that is correct.